Why are you in such a terrible mood? Clara? Clara? Don't walk away. She can barely walk. She still has two months to go. Look at that. Oh, Clara. You ready, Rox? Hello everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. Today I'm going to do an assessment on Rocky and uh, it's basically to answer a question that I get asked often. Not only I see it when I sell baby goats and the new owners have a question but I also see it online all the time. This is the question that comes up over and over again. Sometimes people re have resources like Facebook and they put on Facebook uh, My goat is so feed and um, I can't catch him because he's wild and um, I'm wondering what I can do for him and Really the only way that you'll be able to do something for yourself is if you assess if you check this three things I'm going to share with you today and if you want to treat at home it will be the best guideline to kind of go through different illnesses and say huh, looks like this we can try something if you don't have access to a vet or in the case that you're going to go to a vet you check these three things you answer these questions and then at the end when you go to the vet's office you share this information and it will be so much easier for the vet to diagnose your goat and start with a treatment immediately instead of going through a different set of tests and things that are not only going to be extra expensive and sometimes not needed but there are some cues there are some things that you can see for yourself that will help your vet or it will help you not only diagnose but kind of start treatment in case it's a long weekend um, you don't have a vet nearby or whatever the case may be these are the questions that you need to answer before you decide to take your goat to the vet look at them they're very invested in my video they're watching and listening to everything that i'm saying you guys are weird I have Tass here, who really wants to be my model, but I think I'm going to take Rocky because he's the biggest, the strongest, and the oldest. So. One of the things that I read on the internet is I have a goat that is not eating, or I have a goat that it has an abscess, or I have a goat that is separating, or I have a goat that has diarrhea. It doesn't have to have all those symptoms, but one of them. And then followed by a sentence like, um, this is a wild goat, it's not easy to catch. What can I do without touching basically the goat? And that's not how they phrase it, but that's, how you can read into what that person is writing. If there was a way that somebody could diagnose your goat by saying it has diarrhea, then you can say, okay, well, let's say, for example, that somebody could magically say, oh, it has coccidiosis, so you have to give this medicine orally, and then you have to inject this, and then you have to do that. Well, if your goat is wild and you cannot catch her or him, then that's a big problem. So the number one thing or the number one tip before we even start with this three things that you have to do is make sure that you have a goat with a collar. If your goats have horns, you can use the horns, but in my case they don't, so it's a must, especially for bugs, to have a collar. Not everyone put away their animals, so they, they're not in the barn and they're not easy to catch. So if you are going to try to catch a bug in a bigger pasture, it's going to be a nightmare. So the only way that I can tell you that I am able to take care of the boys specifically is just by having a collar. And you don't put the collar when they're sick. You put it before when they're babies. So that way they're used to you handling them with the collar. 
Another thing that is important is that you're able to have a leash or something that you can clip to the collar to keep him contained. So I am taking Rocky out of the pasture. Why is that? It's because we have three other boys with him and they're gonna be all over me and I'm not gonna be able to keep things clean, sterile because they're gonna be all over it. So the first step for me is have the collar, clip the leash and take him outside. Actually, I'm just gonna take him right outside his pen and that way I can have him separated from the rest. Right now, Rocky is super healthy and he is you know super strong he is still getting out of the rut so he is um with a, all full of hormones so it will be harder to catch and um treat an animal that is healthier that is healthy compared to the other ones that are sick so more than likely if your goat is sick uh, either it has some rumen problems, it has diarrhea, it's sluggish, it's separating. The good news is that it will be easier to catch. And again, if it's not, then you have a system once you have a color. They're way easier to catch with a color. Uh, you may need some help, but in my experience, because of the size of their pen, um, there's not nowhere to go really and uh, they are handled very very often so I don't really have to worry too much about that but that's very important and that goes before you start doing anything that I'm sharing here in this video. Good boy. Yeah, you're gonna make me stink horribly. I beg you, boy, not you. Come on. No, not you. Pass. Get out. Just come on. Okay. So I'm gonna clip him to the fence right here. So what I did to make him stay is. I grabbed a double clip of these and I clipped his collar to the fence and now he's upset with me because he's now he he doesn't need to be there he knows now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna clean my hands and I'm gonna use a little bit of this lube that you mix with water. I grabbed a little bit. I mix it with water. And it turns into like this silicone feeling silicone feeling lube. <laughs> then grab this thermometer that I marked to the one and a half inches. Can you see it there? It's marked. That's how far it needs to go. So that's all the lube we're gonna use. Okay, then I'm gonna insert it until this line right here, and we're gonna wait to see what his temperature is. I'm not gonna like it, so it's not gonna hurt him either, but just to contain him, I'm gonna go like this, insert it, and turn it on. It's okay. Even with the lube, he's not gonna want to have something stick in his butt. So, gotta be patient. And I, I can't turn it down. It's, we're waiting for it to beep. I wish I could show you a little bit better, but apparently the angle is too low. He is at 101.8 and it could be a little bit higher than this and just that I didn't um, keep it long enough since he moved. But as you can see, the trick is to put him like this and hold on. 
kind of put yourself like this on top of him so that way so you can control the front area he cannot headbutt you at this point because of the way that you are he's trying to rub himself now but that is it so that is how you check the temperature on a very strong buck now the second thing that you're gonna do is okay so the second thing you're gonna do is check the formaggio score because of the angle of the camera it's gonna look different for you because it's the sky behind is all white okay so it's gonna trick you but the main idea is that I want to show you how to do it so what you do is you push your thumb over the top lid until the lashes touches your thumb and then gently pull down and then you can see how dark or light pink it is I'm gonna put on the screen the chart Depending on the color that we'll have um, in the lower lid, in the membranes, is the you kind of compare it to the colors in this chart that you're gonna have on screen. And that way you can find the number. Rocky right now, he is a one, so he's really pink and looks very healthy, which means that he's not anemic. He's just gonna get snuggles despite the fact that he stinks. Um, you're gonna check I know I love you too I'm sorry you look very healthy though okay you have perfect temperature and you have perfect formaggio score so good job rocks good job so, so let's move on to step three but let me put Rocky back with his friends because and say bye Rocky say bye Rocky thanks for being our model you're very handsome thanks boy you're very strong too but you're cute you're still in love with Dom, baby? Good. You guys are meant for each other. So remember this double clip? Doing it with a leash it will be harder because they will be able to move more. So as long as you have a fence or a, an eye bolt or something that you can click this onto, then you can do it by yourself. You don't need help to do this assessment. Another thing that you should keep in mind is if you do step one and your goat has low temperature or high temperature, then you can check the formaggio score. You either have to get their temperature up or down before you check their formaggio score. Because, and this I learned the hard way, I am going to have a series of videos when Rocky had listeriosis. The vet told me that he was going to die within a couple of days. He made it. But um, I took maybe a couple of days to actually figure out what was wrong with him because I check his FAMACHA score before I check his temperature. Because he had listeriosis, he had a temperature. And when you have a high temperature, that messes up your whole FAMACHA score system because it will look lighter and it will give you an idea that it has anemia when it actually doesn't have anemia. Rocky did not have anemia. I treated him for worms. I gave him some um, copper and everything and it wasn't that. It was just because I checked his formaggio score when he was running a fever. So you can very easily confuse an anemic goat with maybe something completely different that he's suffering. Like in my case, listeriosis. So, Again, first step, check the temperature. Is it too low? Heat them up. And I'm gonna do a video on how you can heat them up. If it's too high, how can you lower it? If you have some prescription medicine, or even if you don't, what can you use that is safe, that you may have in your own um, medicine cabinet that will work for your goats? So, the FAMAGIA score, really, really important. But at the same time, it's very tricky if you don't take the temperature.
Now, step three is answering these questions. And I'm not gonna go through all the questions, but you should. If you're trying to figure out if your goat is sick, you need to answer all those questions, write their, the answers in a piece of paper and take it with you to the vet. That way, you can help your vet answering those questions. You can help him determine the kind of test that your goat is needing. So, I'm going to leave a link down below. It's going to go to a blog post where I have all the questions that you need to answer. So, the steps are pretty simple if I don't have a goat trying to eat my camera. Number one, check the temperature. Number two, if temperature is within normal range, then you do the FAMAJA score. And from the FAMAJA score, you answer these questions. That way you have everything you need, not only to try to investigate and figure out for yourself what your goat might be having, or if this is something warmer related, if it needs pain medicine, if it needs antibiotics, all of those things will be determined depending on the symptoms. I hope all this information helped you. There is going to be a time when something is going to go wrong and knowing exactly what you're supposed to be doing when they're sick, it's what's going to help you help them get better even if you take them to the vet or you treat them at home so remember to check out that list of questions for step number three and they will all be linked down below so if you enjoyed this video please take a minute and subscribe to the channel like it and leave a comment down below so that way the video can be <laughs> spread it around and more people that are trying to figure out if their goat is sick and trying to help them <laughs> to the best of their abilities um, before they get to the vet will be um, hopefully this will be a good resource for them so thanks for watching bye guys. baby are there babies in the belly, honey? Ay, <laughs> who's that? Is that you, Ava? Loud like your mommy. Look, there are babies in the belly. There are babies in the belly. There are babies in the belly. Oh, the adventurers. They're coming. <laughs> Say hi, girlie. <laughs> Oh, look, your sister came. Oh. Everyone came. Yay, 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 hey. yay, Clara. Hi, Mocha. You're a fatty.